Hello everyone, just coming on to share with you some more stash busting that I've been doing. Um, remember I got together quite a lot of papers and uh, bits of ephemera and different things to try and uh, get rid of, uh, to use, um, in March. And um, I have this tin which was full of ephemera and I also had... Um, bag of leaves and a bag of flowers so the bag of leaves now fits inside this tin as do any flowers that are left over and the tin is only half full whereas before it was sort of mm, bulging out so I've got rid of probably a whole tin full and obviously as it became empty I filled it up again with the things that I had in the in the bags so I just wanted to share with you what I've been doing. Uh, I have been making pocket letters because, um, as I announced in one of my videos, I have decided I'm going to give away 12 pocket letters to, to people over the course of the next few weeks and months. And so I thought, well, let's use up um, the embellishments trying to make pocket letters. And I also had a lot of... Uh, um, pocket letter size card in various shapes and sizes and colours I've been gifted some and I've made some and you know so I thought well let's try and use those up as well and I've also been trying to use up some of my gems and other little embellishments so um, so I just want to share with you the pocket letters that I've made uh, they haven't got anything in the back they're just the fronts uh, at the moment but um, I will be sending them out soon. So this one, this this one is the last one that I made actually, and it's kind of I was really you know, um, um, what do you say, scraping the barrel or whatever, uh, because I didn't have matching papers like I had with the others, and so I thought, well, okay, let's see what I can do. So. I had four with these um, dots and apples on and then I had two red which more or less went together and then um, these two, I the two pieces of red card which I added a little bit of paper to and then this one was totally white. So it, anyway, so I thought let's try and, um, and so most of the pocket letters, in fact I think all of them are floral in one way or another but on this particular one i've tried to use these um glittery butterflies that i had in my stash um so each one of these um uh, little cards has got um at least one if not more um glittery butterfly on uh, that's the kind of the thing which is pulling the whole pocket letter together so that's the first one Oh, sorry, it's difficult to get the whole picture, the whole thing in, in shot. Okay, so then I had um, some pinks and purples. So I decided to make this one. So it's coming off a bit blue, I think, in, on the camera. But this is, a, this is pink and purple and white background paper. And so I've just layered up some flowers and added gems and, and things. Um, and then... I've got some blank, um, not blank, plain card in the middle, um, two different colours of pink. And then on the bottom row, I've got some uh, purple with a, a purple design on it. So that's the, the that one. And then, um, then I've got a sort of a turquoise blue theme going on in this one. So I had... I had seven of this piece of, of this type of paper um, and so to in order to make the nine and I had six I had six so this one is just um this was just a plain card which I layered up with some uh, paper which went with it with the other and then this piece here underneath here is actually um has come from when I've been um, using distress inks and you know how you sort of go from the side and then onto the project so I just had a piece of card there and so that that's what this is um, so yeah so this one has all kind of turquoisey 
and some of you may men may notice and recognize embellishments because I have tried to use use some of the things that I've been gifted as well and I'm very grateful for that then this one this one this card was gifted to me in a swap um, it was an ATC card swap in a little box that I think it was organized a couple of years ago by um, yeah can't, Julia's Julia Julia's I can't remember her channel anyway, but I do remember that it was a little Sue Crafting beginner who gifted me the card. And so I've just tried to make it look very pretty, basically. So um, there we are. So, and I think all, all of these things um, would make just, you know, beautiful cards, really. Um, so... Yeah, so it's just a mixture of bits and bobs um, and things, you know, that I've had lying around forever <laughs> the day. And then this one was also made with some more of the paper that um, little Sue gave me. Um, I didn't quite have enough, so I found some, just had some plain card and I I put these trellisy looking um, cards on top. Um, just to sort of get a bit of symmetry so these ones are all leaves and butterflies some flowers and bits and bobs really so I wanted to have to bring in a yellow element because uh, I tend to use pink and purple and and that a lot but I don't use yellow very much and I had somebody had gifted me these die cuts um, I think these came from America and um, I in yellow and I, I wanted to use them um, and so anyway, I found the use for them so I'm pleased so uh, so these are very simple as I say they're just leaves and butterflies and some gems that I've added this section down the middle is red and the rest is um, it's more um, more sort of uh, well, less more subtle colors I say um, so all of this has been made from some from a set of die cuts that I had. I can't remember where I got those from. This is the the die of the poppy that I got from BB Craft, and and this is the bottom layer there. And then the last one was is this one, which is all purple and green. Um, I'm thinking who I should send this to. I know there are at least a couple of people who love purple. As, uh, so if you if you would like to receive this one uh, and you're lucky enough to be chosen, uh, do leave a comment below. Um, in fact, if you, you could just mention which is your favourite, because that, that is helpful if I, I'm going to um, send it to you, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, so this one is all purples and flowers and butterflies except for the middle one which is green right well it, it is actually mounted on purple this is a um, what's it called when you cut something out and you've got what you've got left behind well you know what i mean so i'd cut a flower out of here um so that purple behind is actually the card from behind and this one isn't finished yet i've got a few gems to add to it but um I've, I've used quite a few things that, that I've been gifted and also I had loads of these stickers and I'm not really a sticker person so um, but I'm glad I've I've used them I've used them quite a bit here and in this last one here um, and again here there's another um, hole <laughs> I can't remember what it's called what's it called Boom. One of you will tell me in the in the comments below what what this is called when you have a piece of card and you you've punched something out of it and you're left with just the shape and i i don't like throwing those things away i like to use them if they're if they're whole and and pretty so so yeah so this is the last one so that's all that i've been doing i i, I made these really quickly i started friday and I spent maybe I spent maybe a couple of hours in total doing these, 
and and what I did was I just put the cards I had all the bits and pieces I just you know randomly threw them onto onto the cards and then rearranged them until I liked them so I hope you like them I think they're quite cheerful and bright and I hope you know whoever receives them will like them and as I say please do say below which which was your favorite I'll just give you another quick thing so this one is the apples and and things this one is the pinks and purples and we've got a, a turquoisey blue one we've got this one which is a kind of um deep pink pink and cream we've got this multicolored one which is um birds and butterflies and the purple one so thank you all for watching and I will be getting some stuff together for my April challenge, which will be, you know, again, part of my de-stash. It's such great fun to use up uh, things that you've got to put things together, which, you know, really quite random. <laughs> and yet they look nice together. And um, I've really enjoyed doing this. And so, yeah, uh, watch this space. I think I've made all the pocket letters now. Um, there's a there are some which I haven't shown you, so those will be a surprise for for whoever receives them. And um, yeah, so now I just have to get go ahead and fill them all, and uh, perhaps make the envelopes for the insides. I'll see. I might not put envelopes, and it just depends. So as I say, thank you all for watching. Have a good week, and uh, see you all in my next video. Bye for now.